Hello guys, this is Ravens from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 106. Samsung has officially confirmed the launch date of Galaxy M32 in India on June 21st at 12 p.m. The design of the M32 and its key specifications is revealed by Amazon listing ahead of the launch. The Galaxy M32 will feature a 6.4 inch Infinity U AMOLED display with a full HD plus resolution. The display panel will have a 90 hertz refresh rate and a 800 nits brightness. Under the hood, the device is expected to come with MediaTek Helio G85 processor. The smartphone is tipped to launch in 4 GB and 6 GB RAM options with the 64 GB and 128 GB on onboard storage. On the software front, we can expect the M32 to run Android 11 out of the box with one UI 3.1 skin. OnePlus launched the OnePlus Note Core Edition 5G smartphone last week in India and Europe. The company is now gearing up to launch another Note series smartphone, Note N200 5G. Let's see some of the specifications and features of Note N200 5G. It comes with a 6.49 inch Full HD Plus LCD display with a 1080 into 2400 pixel resolution. The display panel will have a 90 hertz refresh rate and have a 20 is to 9 aspect ratio, and will also have a punch hole notch on the top left corner. The smartphone will be powered by an octa core quad. Qualcomm Snapdragon 480 processor which will bring 5G connectivity to the table. The Snapdragon 480 mobile processor is built on an 8 nanometer fabrication process, while the Adreno 619 GPU will handle all the graphics related duties. The handset will be offered in 4 GB LPDDR4 X RAM and a 64 GB of UFS 2.1 storage variant. Similar to all other OnePlus smartphones, the Note N200 5G will boot Oxygen OS 11 based on Android 11. On the back there is a triple rear camera setup with an LED flash on the Note N200. The primary sensor on the handset will be like 13 megapixel shooter and will get a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel monochrome sensor. The Note N200 5G will offer a 16 megapixel front shooter. This smartphone will be coming up with the 5000 mAh battery and a 18 watt fast charging support. The handset will have a USB Type C charging port and a 3.5 mm audio jack and a micro SD card slot. And it also has a side mounted fingerprint sensor. Connectivity options will include a 5G dual SIM Bluetooth 5.1. A day after Karnataka High Court gave CCI to go ahead with the probe against Amazon and Flipkart for their alleged anti-competitive practices, CAIT said that these e-commerce companies have destroyed traditional Kirana and small merchants. Wazirx the Indian cryptocurrency exchange has been served a showcase notice by the enforcement directorates for the convention of FEMA the foreign exchange and management act for cryptocurrency transaction worth 2790.74 crores ED shared this news via tweet on Friday and also said that press release that China nationals would use Wazirx to launch gambling proceeding worth 57 crores Black Shark started as a gaming smartphone brand but like many other phone manufacturer it has expanded its product lineup to include other items though the bulk of them are still focused on gaming the latest product is on new version of Fun Cooler 2 cooling fan specifically designed for the iPhone 12 series The Galaxy S20 Fan Edition was a huge success and one of the last year popular phones. So it is no surprise that its successor is greatly anticipated. Unfortunately, the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition might not arrive this year. As per the reports, the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition has been suspended for at least a month. He adds that this development means we won't see the device arrive before September and that if that situation gets worse, the device may end up being cancelled. Vivo V21e 5G will launch in India soon. The phone will come with a Dimensity 700 processor and a 8GB RAM. Vivo V21 5G will also feature a 64 megapixel main camera, AMOLED display and a 32 megapixel front camera. One of the most popular technology leaksters, Xiaomi is planning to launch the smartphone like the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. Of course, we ordinarily would expect a successor to the Mi 11 Ultra, which should be like Xiaomi Mi 12 Ultra. Nevertheless, the post claims that the device will feature a UWB that is ultra wide band tracking technology. Furthermore, he also claims that the flagship smartphone will come with an on-screen camera technology. Apple has announced that 12 winners of the 2021 Apple Design Awards and one of them is an app called Nan Sahana that has been created by Sandeep Ranade from India. Nan Sahana is an all-in-one studio quality music app that helps musician of all genres and any level of expertise perform and publish their music. The app began as one that could be used for practicing Indian classical singing and now expanded to support even seven different genres of music. With the help of the artificial intelligence and core ML, Nan Sahana listens as a singer improvises a vocal line, provide instant feedback on the accuracy of notes and generate a backing track to match all in real time. 
In the first, we have Realme Global Launch Event on June 15. Realme has scheduled Monday, 15th of June for the Global Launch Event of Realme GT Flagship Phone. The device which launched first in China a few months ago is now heading to the old continent and it is bringing a few friends along. It has been reported that the Chinese manufacturer will unveil its first laptop, tablet as well as a robot vacuum cleaner on the same day too. And in the next, we have Honor 50 series on June 16. The series will include three phones, the Honor 50 Pro, Honor 50 and Honor 50 Software Edition. The first two will be powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 778 processor, while Software Edition model will come with a MediaTek Dimensity 900 processor. Ahead of the launch on Wednesday, the full specifications of all three devices has been laid. And next in the list, we have the new TicWatch on June 16th. Mobvoi, the Google invested company known for its TicWatch line of smartwatch, will launch a new watch on June 16th. There are speculation that the new watch is the TicWatch E3, a Snapdragon Wear 4100 powered wearable running Wear OS. Realme launched the entry-level Realme C11 smartphone last month in some markets including Russia and Philippines. Realme is yet to launch the handset in the country but the Realme C11 is already available for purchase in the offline market. A Twitter user took it to social media channels to share the news. He also shared a photos from the shop showcasing the boxes. Along with some live images are yet to be launched Realme C11 2021. To recall, the C11 2021 is the first Android Go edition smartphone from the smartphone maker. The device is powered by Unisoc mobile processor. Elon Musk shows off Tesla's fastest car yet. Musk say that Model S played as a range of roughly 400 miles per charge, a top speed of around 200 miles per hour and go up to 0 to 60 meter per hour in under 2 seconds. The cost is roughly around 100,000 US dollars according to the company's website. The team behind the SpaceX growing satellite internet network Starlink is in talk with several airlines to beam internet to their airplanes. The project's vice president said during a conference panel on Wednesday, expanding Starlink from rural homes and on to airlines is an expected move from Elon Musk's space company as it races to open the broadband network commercially later this year. Chinese electronic chain Skyworth has officially announced the launch of what it is the first gaming monitor with an OLED screen. The monitor packs an expansive 48-inch OLED screen and it is on pre-sale for 7,499 yuan, that is 1,172 US dollars. But the final price will be like 14,999 yuan, that will be like 2,266 US dollars. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe, and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.